today we are going to see something about sequential logic so this presentation deals with basics of sequential logic so in that we are going to cover the following topics first is combination logic and sequential logic second latches third one is flip flops fourth is flip flop conversion fifth is register and at last we'll see counters now you are seeing one block diagram of a combination logic so combination logic circuits are memoryless and no feedback in the combination logic is required you can't see any feedback from output any pin is no wire is there from output to the input this means that there is no feedback loop in the combinational circuit as soon as there is a change in input you will find a change in the output so that is what combination logics are so a combinational system is a system whose output depend only upon its current input so your output only depend upon the current inputs now you see a block diagram of sequential logic so if you need to implement a sequential logic so one combination logic circuit will come and one register will come so this register is used to save the state of the circuit where combination logic is used to evaluate the output so here output of a combination logic will not only depend upon the input but also depend upon the present state so this is the memory element in the sequential logic which is going to uh, store the state of the circuit now a sequential system is a system whose output depend on the current input and the system's current state so sequential circuit have memory that is remember the past so you know that when you when you are evaluating output next state is also get well getting evaluated so that is stored in this register now sequential circuits contents of the storage element represent the state of the circuit so as i told you like that storage element in the sequential circuit is used to save the state of the circuit now input value changes may leave the circuit in the same state or cause or cause it to change to a new state so you know that as soon as there, cha there is a change in input so it may change your circuit to another state or it the circuit will remain in the same state over a time the circuit changes through a sequence of state as a result of changes of input this means that with a ch continuous changes in input your circuit will move from one state to another state like that circuits that exhibit this behavior are referred to as a sequential circuit so whatever points we followed or we discussed if we summarize all those point we will get the properties of the sequential circuits now you can see a alarm control system that is implemented with the help of a sequential logic you see the memory element this is used to store the state of the circuit so you see suppose we wish to construct an alarm circuit such that output remain active on even after the sensor output that triggered an alarm goes off see this is a switch when you will get on your alarm will ring and if you if it's off your al alarm will goes uh, alarm still goes uh, on so a typical car alarm is representative of this circuit type of circuit so if you need to implement uh, alarm for uh, cars so you can use these type of circuits or so the circuit require a memory element to remember that the alarm has to be active until the reset signal arrives so this means that uh, memory element is the, uh, used to remember that alarm has to be active until reset signal is until or unless you are going to apply reset your your uh, memory element will remain uh, will remember that state so if you want to make your uh, circuit to move to next state you have to reset your circuit now coming to digital circuits so digital circuits can be operated in two modes 
one is asynchronous mode and other is synchronous mode now asynchronous mode so in asynchronous mode the state of the circuit changes whenever input changes whereas in synchronous mode state can only changes at the time synchronized to an external signal so we are seeing that in asynchronous mode whenever there is a change in input you are seeing an output but in synchronous mode you can find a change with a global signal with an external signal that is used to synchronize all the sequential element in the circuit.